as well, and we haven't talked about this yet because it's what young men struggle with, but you've moved beyond what I would call uh, cage stage theology. And some are smiling because perhaps you were there, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, maybe you're not there yet. And what I mean by cage stage is you start to read and recognize there's so much more to the Bible than you ever realized. And as you start, you stop living in this kind of theological orbit of floating Christian cliches and one-line Bible verses, and you actually dive a little bit into the depths, and you realize, oh, all that's there. You start to judge other people. You've been a Christian forever, and you don't know this stuff, and then they become kind of rabid, right? And they're like, oh, I'm going to change everybody, and you need to hear about my theological brilliance, and you're such a dummy. How come you've been a Christian for so long, and you haven't got that? And that's why we put them in cages. <laughs> because they're like baby rattlesnakes. They just never know when to stop, right? The adult rattlesnake just hits you and goes, but the baby's like, ha like just never stops. And you're like, until your theology has humbled you, you're not welcome out of the cage. It's got to work through you. 